Trevor, you guys have seen Laval so many times this season. You've played quite well against him, but is this one of those wins tonight where you maybe feel fortunate that you uh, fortunate to get it, considering the way they played and came out? Yeah, I mean, we're fortunate we have Sparksy and Net that uh, and picks to be the backbone of our team and uh, keep us in games like that when we're kind of sleeping. Um, not our best effort, but uh, we're going to build on it and go into a pick. It seemed like things in the third period were starting to get a little bit of chippy, which seems to be a trend in the games against Laval. Is that just something you guys have come to expect when you know you're going to play them that there's probably going to be an element of things going on after the whistle, like some extracurricular, you know, rough stuff, that sort of thing? Uh, yeah, you play a team a lot, uh, however many times we played them, and then you, a team like Belleville, same thing. You know, you just play them a lot, uh, you get familiar with guys, and tensions run hot, but uh, it's all good. You guys are heading to Manitoba later this week to take on the Moose. What sort of a challenge are you expecting from them? They were here, obviously, a few months ago and, and took the weekend series, but uh, just what sort of challenge are you expecting from them? Yeah, we're really excited. Uh, it's a good, really good playoff team. It's going to be a good test for us. Um, I think we're all going to be up for that one. You lined it up nice to Pierre Engvall since he got here on the power play. What do you think he adds to the man advantage? Yeah, I mean, the guy shoots really hard. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a nice element to have on the flank for sure. So, you know, you can play both ways. Sheldon's talked about that. Has he preached versatility to you? And you said he gave you a lot of confidence. Is versatility something he's talked about? Um, not really, but, you know, he put me net front in the last few games on the power play and stuff, and it's just kind of something that he seems like he wants me to get in my game, and it's fun. You know, I like playing different areas of the ice and improving. When you're on the power play, you get more time with the puck. Does that help even translate the five-on-five play, you know, because you get more reps with the puck? I think so. I think when you have the puck that much, it transfers into all areas of your game, like you said, just building confidence. What did you see on that goal? Was that kind of undercut? Is that by design something you're thinking when you're going in, or...? I think it's something that our development staff talks a lot about in five on five anytime. Um, when you can get inside ice through a guy's hands like that, you want to do it. And it's hard to get to those areas of the ice. And that front is something that uh, we're all working on, myself especially. So, um, yeah, you get to that spot and just try to put it in. As time goes on, do you feel like your game is improving, like, improving the little areas, such as board play and other things like that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't think it was my best game on the boards tonight. But, um, yeah, it's something that, like I said, we're trying to get to the middle of the ice, trying to get to those scoring areas. That you can't play the whole game on the perimeters. You can't score goals like that. Do you like playing on the special teams, whether it be PK or power play? Have you always kind of played there throughout your career? Yeah. I mean, I've always played uh, power play and then some penalty kill here and there. But anytime you get on the ice in a good league like this, you're happy.